ingenious calculation. Butner was shocked. How had this young boy found the answer so quickly? The story goes that the precocious young student had spotted a shortcut that helped him avoid the hard work of actually doing much arithmetic. What he had realised was that if you add up the numbers in pairs, 1 plus 100, 2 plus 99, 3 plus 98, and so on, the answer was always 101. But there were 50 pairs, hence the solution was 50 times 101 equals 5050. I remember being electrified by this story. To see Gauss's insight into how to shortcut all this horribly tedious and labour-intensive work was a revelation. Although the story of Gauss's schoolroom shortcut is probably more legend than fact, it nonetheless captures beautifully an important point. Mathematics is not a subject of tedious calculations, as so many think, but rather one of strategic thinking. That, my dear students, is mathematics, announced my teacher, the art of the shortcut. Hello, my twelve-year-old self thought. Tell me more. Getting further faster. Humans use shortcuts all the time. We have to. We have a short amount of time to make decisions. We have limited mental capacity to navigate complex problems. One of the first strategies that we developed as a pathway to solving complicated challenges was the idea of heuristics, the process by which we make problems less complex by ignoring some of the information that's coming into the brain, either consciously or unconsciously. The trouble is that most of the heuristics that humans use lead to bad judgments and biased decisions and generally aren't fit for purpose. We might know one thing from experience and then try to extrapolate all of our other problems by comparing them to this one thing we know. We judge the global by knowledge of the local. Well, this was fine when our environment didn't extend too much beyond the small region of savanna we inhabited. But as our neighbourhood expanded, these heuristics didn't give us good ways of understanding how things worked beyond our local knowledge. This was the moment when we started to develop better shortcuts. Those tools are what today we call mathematics. To find good shortcuts requires an ability to lift yourself out of the geography you're trying to traverse. If you're in the landscape, then often you can only rely on what you see around you. Although each step feels like it is taking you in the right direction, the path that results might take you the long way round to your destination or lead you astray completely. That's why humans developed a better way of thinking, the ability to take ourselves out of the minutiae of the task at hand and understand that there might be an unexpected path that could get us to our target more efficiently and faster. This is what Gauss did with the challenge his teacher set the class, while the other students started plodding from one number to the next, adding each new one they encountered to the tally, Gauss surveyed the problem in its totality, understanding how to use the beginning and the end of the journey to his advantage. Mathematics is all about this ability to substitute higher-level thinking that sees structure, where before we just saw random meandering pathways to lift us up and out of the landscape so that we can look down from a great height to see the true lie of the land. Shortcuts emerge when problems are mapped in this way, and once we started to exploit the ability to see structure in our mind's eye without physically encountering it, this capacity for abstract thinking unleashed human civilization's extraordinary advances over the centuries. The journey to better thinking began 5,000 years ago around the Nile and the Euphrates. Humans wanted to find cleverer ways of building the city-states that were blossoming alongside these rivers. How many blocks of stone would be needed to build a pyramid? What area of land had to be cultivated with crops to feed a city? What changes in river height were indicators of a forthcoming flood? Those who had the tools to find shortcuts to solving these challenges were those who rose to prominence in these emerging societies. The success of mathematics as a shortcut to the rapid development of these civilizations launched the subject as a powerful tool for those wishing to get further, faster. 
Time and again, a gear change in civilization.